Hey boys and girls, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Well, I own DetailJuice.com. It's a detailing product line for auto boat, RV, motorcycle, your personal watercraft. I'm gonna show you today how to build what I believe to be the, well, the most economical fishing rig for your personal watercraft on the planet that is as functional as it is, if that makes sense. Um, low cost, uh, it f very functionally sound, um, structurally sound. Uh, I've had great luck with this. I have been in some pretty nasty chop with it uh, and it works really, really well. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh no, those aren't gonna work and blah, blah, blah. You need something strong and blah, blah, blah. And that's how you guys are. I mean, most people are just like, I'm a keyboard cowboy on the internet, so everything must be shit. I'm gonna run my mouth, but here's the thing. I've tested this. Um, I was in the, I was on the search uh, last year, about the end of the season, for a fishing outfit for my ski. And as a lot of you guys know, I bought a 2019 uh, Sea Doo Fish Pro. I had that for a while. I sold my company, uh, Reset Charters, where I had all my skis and we did tours. I was able to get out of that. It was a pretty good deal um, for me, anyway. And uh, so I moved on from it. So I sold all the skis except for my 2018 GTX 300 Limited, which is what you see behind me. And um, as most of you guys know, I also have the Sea Doo, uh, the cooler with the rod holders and all of that. So I made that investment last year. It works very, very well. It goes into the um, link system on the back of the ski, but something really like inside me was so interested in trying to figure out how I could put together an inexpensive rig. Now, a lot of you guys also know that I built that PVC rig uh, that worked really, really well for a couple of the Yamaha VX HO cruisers I had. And um, I sold that unit to a buddy of mine and he loves it. Um, it worked well, but it was really tedious work cutting up all the PVC, all the parts got expensive. Um, and me, I like to make it fantastic, make it really function well and make it the best that I can make it. Well, I started continuing to think about how I could make it less expensive, if that makes sense, and a little easier to put together for a lot of you people who are wanting me to build those PVC racks. It just didn't make any sense. Like after I had 300 and some change in a rack and then to have to sell it, um, A, I couldn't make any money for all the time it took, but beyond that, you guys wouldn't get incredible value buying it from me because it has to be kind of expensive for everybody to make some money and it for it to make sense and i just don't have time to do them for free unfortunately so this is what i've come up with right here so this is what i have put together i will link all of these parts in the description below so just to get started um and i just um, thought that maybe I'd put a couple of more of these wire ties on the front just, uh, and where they're not cinched down, uh, uh, just for like backup. I haven't had any issues. So this is the big ant collapsible large milk crate, uh, on Amazon. Uh, these are 200 pound tensile strength wire ties which have worked amazingly out in the chop and out on the water uh, these right here are just uh, obviously black three rod rod holders um, i have secured those on with wire ties because wire ties are far less expensive than stainless steel hardware and the way I have it here, it's not coming loose. I've got the two strong ones in the center and I've got four on each side, uh, just holding it down. It works really, really, really well. Um, you'll notice I braced this here on my, um, the ST3 hull platform. I braced it here. I don't want anything wearing through on my 
grab handles back here so I use some of the same pool noodle which it all matches uh, even the cooler matches pretty well um, I use the pool noodle here to hold on um, I also fasten the pool noodle to the front and one to the bottom of the back so that it uh, is level um, on the back I have secured it in three positions here in the center here on this little tie down strap and then uh, this guy here um, I am using stainless steel I gotta get that pulled out I am using um, these stainless steel carabiners you'll notice uh, just to extend uh, this a little bit where I have enough to pull through where it's securely locked down Again same situation over here This cooler it's backwards right now I just I took it out to spray everything down and clean it after I used it last time, but this cooler um, Is nothing spe special This thing was $30 at Dick's Sporting Goods. It is a Igloo Latitude. It's a 50 quart. Um, if you don't want the cooler in there, you don't have to have it in there. You can use it for your dry bag or any of the other gear that you might have. That thing's huge. Um, I also have two of those Plano um, 3600s in there. Plenty of tackle storage. This is a collapsible crate. You collapse it just like this. Pull the things here. Oh, I have it strapped at the top. That's right, I can't lay it down for you, sorry. Anyway, it does lay down uh, if the tops aren't strapped. But uh, the way that this is put together, um, you want to strap it at the top, not the bottom. Because you want this pulling from the top while the bottom pulls in the back. So it's very secure. I mean, I'm jerking on it. <laughs> he said jerking on it. And uh, it's uh, not even moving, which is a pretty good deal. But the, the biggest benefit to this whole situation is I got, I think this was $57. These were $22 a piece. So $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $90, 2 pool noodles. I don't know what, two bucks a piece for those. Um, so we'll say a hundred there, 15 bucks for the fancy wire ties. Again, I'll link everything in the, in the description. Um, so we're about 120. I want to say these are, I don't know, five or six dollars a piece, 130. And then, uh, so we'll say 160 bucks all in. For what you see there and it is an incredibly stable very secure situation um, and it, I mean it just it just works people um, these 3600s I got from Walmart you can get them on Amazon but these are uh, 200 pound tensile strength strength Again, I'll link it in the description. Uh, these are 26 inches long. Um, I keep extra ones with me on the, on the uh, we'll, we'll call it a boat. Uh, but the, it's pretty cool. I mean, you cannot go wrong, especially for the price. And you can put this together yourself. Whether you have any mechanical ability or, or not. Um, you know, a lot of women say, hey, can you build me a rack? Well, that's because they don't want to get out there and do it, I guess. But beyond that, it doesn't make any sense when you can have this for far less money. So 160 bucks, you've got a full on fishing rig with a cooler plenty of tackle storage. Um, and then I usually put a bungee cord over and just uh, keep the cooler in there just with one bungee. Um, nothing fancy there. Uh, you'll notice that I cut out this pool noodle and put it right there on the front corner on the front. And then I use wire ties, um, all the way down to hold it in place. I drilled a hole here and on the other corner. And I think two more just to put straps in where there weren't any holes. So I had to, I drilled four holes. You don't have to do that, but I wanted uh, straps on the end here so that the end wasn't all wonky and flopping around. Um, and then this one, I left hole 
and I strapped it straight to the bottom so that this uh, would actually lift the rear end up a little bit and make it more level uh, to the front. So you can see how it looks. Um, they do make these in several different colors. Uh, I happen to get the red. I actually use these for other things, uh, moving product and that kind of thing. Uh, is is these are fantastic for that and I was thinking man I, I should order the big one and see if I could put it on the back of the ski and here you go so anyway that's it that is what I consider the most economical fantastically working very functional fishing rig for a ski period the other cool thing is um, when these ties aren't here and everything will fold in. So this will fold in, that one folds in. These fold in and sit on the top. You don't have to remove uh, the rod holders or uh, the pool noodles to store it. I mean, you remove the cooler from there and the uh, your tackle and you're good to go. This thing has plenty of like holes in it where you can hook things to it. Um, you know, you can hook your rods to the actual crate if you want, instead of hooking it on here if you're worried that, you know, something might happen. But this is strong, guys, I'm telling you. This is super strong. It's all about how you put it together. I did some research to make sure I got high quality uh, cable ties. Again, 200 pound tensile strength each. So 200 pounds here, 200 pounds there. 200, 200, 200. Um, you could put more on there if you want to. Um, I mean, it just, it's a very functional situation. Uh, I have used it many times. It works very well. Nothing is in the way of anything else. Um, and again, it just works and it's cheap. So I'll link everything, all the parts in the description uh, below. Again, I paid 160, roughly 160 bucks for everything you see there, and it took me about 15 minutes, 15 to, well, we'll say 30 minutes to put it all together and mount it to the ski. You cannot go wrong with this setup. It is literally the best that I have come up with, uh, and it's incredibly functional out on the water. Uh, I will eventually shoot another video while I'm out on the water and let you see me ripping around on it. None of these things are for big water. Even the sea dew thing uh, equipment over there isn't designed to be used while you're jumping waves. So if you think about that, you're probably going to break straps on big waves. But you either should take your ski out to jump waves with it or to fish. Not both. Uh, or if you're going to go fishing, but you want to do a little wave jumping or whatever, leave the equipment off, put it on when you're ready to go. Um, or, I mean, the other option is you could definitely come up with a, um, a higher quality, I guess, way to strap everything down. I have these uh, deals here with the locks and everything, and I could use those, but I was like, well, let me try these... Uh, let me try out these 200 tensile strength, 200 pound tensile strength um, cable ties, and sure enough, they work fantastic. No need. I mean, I I want to say I paid like 30 or 40 bucks each for these. Um, it's a lot, guys. I think these are about three dollars a piece. So you got a couple of those down here, which work really well. Um, cool part is if anything happened to your wire tie this is strapped down here to that d-ring and it's not going to go anywhere so that's cool but anyway super strong everything you need 50 quart cooler it has plenty of tackle storage it has six rod holders on it i mean i know i'm gonna have my random hater out there like i always do oh well this and that is wrong with it and this and that well guess what I have used this myself already. It's fantastic. You should buy this setup and use it yourself instead of spending 700 to 1000 on some of the other things that are out there on the market. In fact, if I had put this together before I bought the CDU equipment, 
I'd have never bought the Sea-Doo equipment, to be perfectly honest with you. I've got about $750 in that box and those four rod holders. I have $160 in this setup, and I can use it for other things if I want to. I can use that crate by itself, I can use that cooler by itself, the tackle boxes I can use by itself. And don't quote me on the price, it's, a, it's around there. Let's just say if it's inside 200 bucks, everybody's happy, right? $200 and you can put this together in 30 minutes, that's a good deal. So anyway, that is the best fishing rig for a ski that I have ever seen, especially for the money. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have questions for me, leave it in the comments below or reach out to me directly. But this literally is a game changer if you're looking to fish from your ski and you do not have or and or you don't want to spend ridiculous money to get out there on the water and fish. So I'm very happy with this. Um, is that a roto molded high end cooler? Nope. Is all this made of plastic? Yep. Is it for your most heavy duty, die hard fisherman out there? Absolutely not. Is this going to get you out on the water fishing comfortably in a quality way? Absolutely. Is this going to not break the bank when something like that could? Absolutely. For inside $200, you can have everything you see there, and it's worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation if you want to learn more about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. That's all we talk about in that group on Facebook. Uh, if you've got questions for me, either leave it in the comments below, or you can reach me on my cell, 813-846-4406. And uh, again, you don't need to spend big money to get yourself out on the water and fish and have a great time and do it in style. Because all these parts right here that will be listed in the, the, the description below are available to you right now at Amazon.com. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and listen to me babble. Thanks again. Have a great day.